The image of a cosmic or worldwide tree was not used just by the Israelites, but it was used by them in a unique sort of way. And we see this reflected in a couple of different ways in the Old and New Testament. So to begin with the New Testament, in Matthew 13, where you have this string of parables, one of these is the parable that Jesus tells about the mustard seed that's planted, and it grows into this tree, and the birds of the heavens come and find rest in its branches. This is an image of the kingdom, which starts small and then grows, and the birds of the heavens would be an image of believers who come and find rest and shade in the branches of this kingdom of God. Now, that is actually based upon a part of Ezekiel and other parts of the Old Testament as well, but Ezekiel 17, one of the chapters we read today in Bible in one year, at the very end of that chapter has a picture of God taking a sprig and planting it on a great and lofty mountain, which would correspond to Mount Zion. And the sprig grows into this vast cedar with branches, and the birds of the heavens come and find shade and rest in the branches of this tree. It's one more symbol of the kingdom of God that's centered around this seed in Matthew 13, or this sprig in Ezekiel 17, both of which are an image of this growth that comes from one, from the Messiah, from Christ. His kingdom grows into this vast worldwide kingdom, which we, the birds of the heavens, flock in order to find rest, shade, peace, and forgiveness in the branches of the kingdom of God.